Hey there everyone, it's Lee here. Hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to solo mine Nexus uh, Nero with your GPU, specifically your AMD GPU. There is a NVIDIA uh, miner also um, available, um, but this one is really just focusing on the AMD uh, GPUs. Okay, so on the actual screen in front of me, you can see I've got this, uh, it's kind of a window in a window effect. Um, you won't need to worry about that. It's because I'm using uh, TeamViewer, which is like a remote login um, tool, um, just so I can basically demonstrate uh, this video to you. My actual home system has a NVIDIA GPU, and the one that I've logged into is uh, got two AMD GPUs. So that's the reasoning for that. Okay, so looking on the actual center kind of a window, let me just uh, maximize it so we can just start, stay focused a little bit. Um, there's a couple of things that you're gonna need. Um, I've actually got two windows running here. The bottom one is actually a CPU pool miner. If you're interested in that, to use that with Nexus, um, check out my previous video, and that will show you how to get started with that. Um, I'm just gonna close that for the time being just to help produce uh, lag and stuff. Okay, then at the top, you'll actually see a, another window, and this is the actual GPU miner, which is solo mining Nexus using the local wallet. So let's uh, jump in and we'll get sort of started. I'll show you everything that you need to get set up and get mining uh, properly. So I'm just gonna close that for the time being. So when you're solo mining, the way it works is that you're mining to your local wallet that is actually installed and running on your machine. So in this case, we've actually already got the actual Nexus wallet installed and it's up and running and synchronized. Um, you need to do this before you actually start solo mining. Um, I've left the actual wallet open. I'm not gonna close it and reopen it just because it takes quite a while to get it reopened um, afterwards. So that should be your first starting point. So um, just double click on the actual Nexus-QT application and get your Nexus wallet running and synchronized. Um, so you can tell it's synchronized just by the green tick in the bottom right hand corner there. So I'm just gonna minimize that now um, and I'll show you where to get the actual uh, GPU miner from. So if you open up the actual web browser, you can just do a search or I'll put a link in the actual video description. So this is the actual Nexus Nero Bitcoin talk thread. And um, if we just scroll down here is a little bit of a delay just because, um, like I say, this is all being done um, remotely. Um, so we've already got the wallet there. You can see that just sort of scrolling past. And then we've got a little bit further down. This coin is unique because it actually supports dual channel mining. So you can mine it with a CPU and you can also mine it with a GPU on two separate um, channels. So that's quite cool. And the miner that I'm using is this SK miner, this AMD binary with the web GUI monitor. I've not actually used the web GUI, but um, anyway, so you select that and um, download it as you normally would any other file. So you just go to save. And I'm just gonna save it in our downloads folder. Now they've actually compressed this file in a, um, a little bit of a funny format. So you'll need to have a WinRAR to open it or if you don't have WinRAR, I'll also put a zipped version of this file in the actual video description, just so you can extract it uh, easily within Windows. So we've downloaded that. Let's close that browser. And then if we go to our downloads folder, you can see we've got this skminer underscore windows 1.2 x64 dot 7z. And dot 7z is a compressed file format. Um, on this machine, I don't actually have WinRAR. Um, however, I've already taken and gone through the process of extracting it on another machine and transferring it back. You won't need to do that. Um, if you don't have WinRAR, just download it and then you'll be able to right click and um, extract it just the same as you normally would a zip file. Or like I said, you'll be able to download the actual zip file for this from the video description. So once you've actually extracted the file, um, it should look like something like this. So this is the extra extracted file folder. And then you've got this SK miner. That is the actual mining application. So just before you actually double click and start it, just make sure your Nexus QT wallet is running. In this case, ours already is. And then we're just gonna double click and start the miner. It takes a, a minute to get going, but we'll just leave it going for a time minute. 
Um, you can see some information at the top. It's found two CPUs. It's trying to set the engine and the memory clocks to what it thinks should be right. Um, but, but that's fine, you can just ignore that. There's no uh, big deal. And then you can see it says uh, connected to 127.0.0.1. 9325 so that is the actual local address of our nexus qt wallet and then further down so it's just let you know some information so you've got this a new block that's been found not by us just on the actual network itself and then you've got this uh hash rate on the side here so i've actually got in the remote computer it's actually got two amd um two aex's in there so depending on what um, GPU's got, it's obviously going to affect your hash rate as well. So for this uh, machine, yeah, the hash rate is about 50,000. So if you've just got a single CPU, um, you should probably look at around 20, 25,000, something like that, depending on what um, graphics card you've got there, sorry. And um, so you just leave that running. And what's going to happen is over time, it's going to find blocks on the network. Um, at the moment, I've not seen a calculator to work out um, what the hash rate is versus um, how often you're likely to find a block. Um, I've only really been running it for an hour or so previous um, to this video. So at the moment, I'm a little bit in the unknown um, how often we might actually be finding a block. So, but that is kind of essentially it. So the miners there is now running and it's mining to our wallet. When it finds a block, you'll be credited in your account with the block uh, reward. So that is um, solo mining. So I think that's everything for, for this video. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, um, just leave those in the comments area below this video and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. And um, yeah, hopefully you found this to be helpful to you. Till next time guys, uh, take care.